I'm Dr. Franklin Domingo from the Asian Hospital and Medical Center. Well, I started learning about ultrasound back in 2008 when Dr. Tony Buffard came here to the Philippines and taught us at, uh, at the USD Hospital. Ultrasound helps us to diagnose complicated cases as well as easy places at the point of care. Sonocyte has proven a big help by providing us clean, crisp images when we need it all the time. Chief Resident here in the Emergency Department of Makati Medical Center. Luckily, since I started my residency here in the Emergency Department, we have the ultrasound. Point of care ultrasound is a useful diagnostic tool, especially for us residents. It aids in the management of our patients. I'm Dr. Gabriel, uh, the Chairman of the Makati Medical Center Department of Emergency Medicine. We've been using Sonocyte for more than two years now. Point of care helps emergency physicians improve their diagnostic skills and patient care. It has helped us improve in the management of trauma, improve resuscitation outcome, and better diagnostic, procedural, and therapeutic management of patients. I'm Jeffrey Chua, an endovascular surgery consultant at Makati Medical Center. Central line insertion has been part of my practice and before ultrasound guidance was introduced, we rely on landmarks and palpation. It helped a lot with regards to ease of the procedure, decreasing the time needed to finish the procedure and most especially, decreasing the chances of puncturing the wrong anatomy. Guided access has made life easier for me and safer for my patients. Dr. Noel Aipa, anesthesia consultant at the Makati Medical Center, doing regional anesthesia via peripheral nerve blocks. In the past, nerve blocks have been done guided mainly by anatomical landmarks, and it took a lot of guts to do it. Most of the time was dedicated by the anesthesiologist to praying that our blocks will work. Our surgeons usually ask us, Gumagana uh, Ben. They don't have confidence, but nowadays, because of the use of ultrasound, we have a lot of success rates that uh, raise the confidence level of our surgeons and our patients at large who are glad that such a safe and better alternative anesthesia exists. I am Dr. Hubert Ko, a third year resident of the Department of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation in the University of Santo Tomas Hospital. Our department has been using Sonocyte for more than five years now. Sonocyte improves diagnostic accuracy and makes rehab interventions more precise. Hi, I'm Maria Belinda Cabuncal Fidel. I'm a rehabilitation medicine specialist. Our main concern is to improve the level of functioning of our patients, reduce their impairment, and we can also do dynamic evaluation or examination since not all pain is felt at rest. Some pain is felt while the patient is moving their body parts. My name is Dr. Ricardo Quintos. I am with the Integrated Vascular Services Complex of the National Kidney and Transplant Institute. We pretty much use the machine all over the hospital, a unit in the emergency room, for our emergency vascular access. Also at the cath lab, where we use it for pre-operative vascular access and intraoperative correlations with our interventional procedures. And that is why we want one that is very durable, will withstand all the knocks that we can throw at it, and yet perform flawlessly, and give us the images that uh, we desire so that we can come up with the correct diagnosis and the correct procedure. I'm Dr. Numeriano M. Samar Jr. I'm an anesthesiologist. I'm Dr. Paul Montemayor. I'm a vascular surgeon. I'm Dr. Leah Montemayor, regional anesthesia. I'm Dr. May Ann Tabera, anesthesiologist. My name is Dr. Christine Te. I'm a vascular surgeon. I am Stephanie Shao, a regional anesthesiologist. I am Dr. Binyoktan Sales, an active practitioner of rehabilitation medicine, a strong believer of the use of ultrasound guidance in procedure. Learning ultrasound is not easy for non-radiologists, but challenge proved to be rewarding. It all started with my initial exposure 
with Foreign Workshop on Ultrasound in 2007. It has opened my vista to the wide possibility of its use. University of Santo Tomas Faculty of Medicine and Surgery, through the Sonocyte grant, provided me the opportunity to spearhead the learning of ultrasound and integrate it in undergraduate medical education. medical school and at the forefront of innovation in medical education. The UST Faculty of Medicine and Surgery has pioneered the integration of ultrasound in medical education in the country in the various medical courses from first year to clerkship. I'm Dr. Maria Karen A. Capus. I was assigned to head the ultrasound unit last year. The framework for the integration of ultrasound in our medical curriculum was laid in 2011. 20 sonocyte ultrasound machines have been used as a teaching tool in the different subjects. And ultrasound has helped us correlate what we have learned in the classroom to actual clinical scenarios. It enables us to appreciate anatomical structures in real time. We are looking into the time when ultrasound will be accessible to clinicians in different medical settings. Equipping our future physicians with relevant skills responsive to the evolving world healthcare needs. The Sonocyte Edge 2 gave me the best resolution with minimal effort and knob adjustments. And it definitely helped increase my success rate. I found it so easy to use just with the click of a button, you're ready to go. No time is wasted. And when I returned to the Philippines from fellowship, I knew I had to get one and I'm so glad I did. Private practice is in different hospitals south of Metro Manila. I answer referrals in around 10 to 15 hospitals in the area. And so my requirement is that the ultrasound should be portable and it should be dependable. Luckily, uh, Sonocyte has no noted defect for the past three years with me. Batting average was if you do 1,000 central line blind, it is acceptable that you get a 0.1% pneumothorax. But with the use of ultrasound, that is actually eliminated. I started using Sonocyte way back in 2004. The model I first used was the Sonocyte 180. I shared it with two other doctors who were rheumatologists. It finally gave out only in 2016, so I used it for a good 12 years. I purchased my own machine, which was a demo unit of the Micromax in 2007 and my vascular fellow to this day still uses it. Eventually got an edge legacy in 2017, works fine. Sonocyte gives you superior images, it is very durable, and the interface is user-friendly. It has changed the way we practice, bringing ultrasound to the point of care. Probes are very durable. Rugged and liquid resistant. It also passed the drop test, which is important in the chaotic environment of the emergency department. 